In this video series, we are going to be using a program called SketchUp to create a 3D model of the desktop organizer that we have been creating in class. So as you can see here, this is a almost finished desktop organizer. Okay, let's go for a bit of a fly around so you can get the idea of what it looks like. It's all to scale, so they're exact dimensions as they are in real life. And we can also grab our move tool here, which I've got, and just pull this drawer out for a sec. So you can have a look inside there and see the runners that we've got inside of our organizer. And you can also have a closer look at the, um, the little drawer as well, so you can see inside of that and how that looks. Okay, so I'll just put that drawer back in. Um, we're going to do this video series probably over three videos. We'll start by doing the draw in the first video, then we'll do the carcass. And in the third video, we'll probably have a crack at doing the sides and looking at putting a picture in that we can laser engrave into our backboard. Alrighty, so let's get started today by simply loading up SketchUp and going to this menu in the top uh, left-hand corner. From there, I want you to select the New Model option and I want you to choose Simple Template Millimeters. When you do that, you will be greeted with a screen that looks like this. All right, there's usually a person standing in the middle, sometimes a boy, sometimes a girl. Just click on them, delete them. We don't need them standing there. Okay, um, before we do get started, I just want to clear a few things up. These colored lines that you can see on your screen are the axes. So we've got the Y axis running up and down in the blue. We've got the red axis here, which runs left and right. That's the X axis. And the green line that goes off into the distance, that's our Z axis. And with those three axes combined, that's allowing us to create 3D models. Okay, we've got the three different dimensions, the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Okay, we're gonna to start today, as I said before, we're gonna start by drawing the draw of the desktop organizer first. Um, it's fairly straightforward, so let's get started by changing our view. Okay, we change views in SketchUp by coming over to this right hand side and choosing the third last option, that little movie clap with a play symbol inside it. Um, and from the views panel, you can choose any of these to get different views of your work. Okay, the one we are looking for is the middle one, the top view. It's basically looking straight down on top of your work. All right, now that's a bit hard to see at the moment because we haven't got any work on our page. Um, so let's get a little bit of stuff drawn on our page so you can see the top-down view. The first thing we want to draw on our drawer is the base. Okay, I'm going to do that using the rectangle tool over here on this toolbox on the left. So look for the rectangle with a line running through the middle of it. That's our rectangle tool. And what I want you to do is simply click on the origin once and let go of your mouse. Just drag it around and you'll see that the... Rectangle you're drawing follows your mouse cursor, asking you where you want to drop it into position. Okay, now you could drop it anywhere and have an, any old random size rectangle, but in this case we need to use a specific size. Okay, so what we can do is type our dimensions down here in the bottom right. You don't actually even have to click in that box, just type them in. So the dimensions I want you to type in is 200 and then a comma 100. You should see that down in the dimensions in the bottom right corner there. And that's 200 millimeters width and 100 millimeters height. That's what those numbers stand for. And when you press enter, you'll get a rectangle that's 200 by 100 mil. Okay, it's very small at the moment. So you will need to scroll up on your mouse to zoom in. Okay, once you've zoomed in, just grab your white arrow over here, which is your select tool. And if you hold down your mouse wheel, move your mouse, you can actually rotate around this shape and have a look at it in the 3D view. Now because it's flat there on our X and our Z axis, it's just a 2D shape. What we need to do is make it come up the Y axis to make it into a 3D shape. And the way we do that is we use this tool over here called the push-pull tool. It's a little square with an arrow pointed on it. Okay, what we're going to do to this um, rectangle here is extrude it, which means we're going to click on it and lift it up. You can see you can make it as big or as small as you like. You can go in the opposite direction as well. Okay, but we want to come up above that horizon line. And I want you to come up three millimeters. 
Okay, so just type three into the box down there and press enter. And you've got a skinny little rectangle there now. That's a piece of plywood that we were using to do the base of our draw. Okay, so once you've got that drawn, grab your select tool and I want you to triple click your mouse. One, two, three, to select this. If you only double click on it, it will just select the top face, but it won't select everything. You want to triple click on this so that the whole shape turns blue. And what we're going to do is just right click on that and make it a component. And we're going to call this one draw underscore base. So we know that this is going to be the base of our draw. Let's click OK. Now that saves that piece into something we call the components, which is one of these. There it is. And you can see up here we've got the draw base. So if we ever want to use this shape again, we just simply drag it out onto the page and we can use it again. We don't have to draw it from scratch. All right, so now that we've got the base drawn, the next thing we need to do is the sides of the box. Okay, we've got the long sides and the short sides. So we're going to change our view again here, back to the top view, like that. And we're just going to grab our rectangle tool. And we're going to start in the bottom left hand corner, click and drag across to the right. Now this long side is going to be 200, 12 and press enter. So 200 mils in length there and was it 12 millimeters in depth basically. What we're going to do now is use our push pull tool to pull this side here. So click on this side and pull it up. Now it needs to come up a total of 40 millimeters. So you can do it by hand or you can just type 40 millimeters into the distance box there and press enter. And that is one side or of our draw done. So grab your white arrow select tool and triple click on this and then right click on the shape and make it a component. Okay, we're just going to call this draw underscore long underscore side. I'll put underscore one. I know that's a long name but we're going to do two long sides so that's why we need to have that long unique name. Now instead of drawing this again over the other side, we can just duplicate it and pull it across. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to that top view to make this a bit easier. To move stuff, you just come over to the left panel here and choose this bunch of arrows, which is the move tool. And if you hold control, you can click on one of these corners okay, and drag it up. Now you can't see where that's going exactly to get that precise. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to zoom in and hold down your mouse wheel to do a bit of a fly around so you can um, see what's going on and grab that top left hand corner again and just drag it out to the top left corner just there, let me have a look I think we've got it yeah that looks good the next step that we need to do is the shorter sides okay they're pretty straightforward I'm just going to go back to my views over here and I'm going to choose one of these side on options here okay this one will do for now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our rectangle tool again. I'm just going to zoom in a bit here so you can see this. I'm going to start right there on the bottom left corner of my first side. Click, drag out to the top right corner there. And if you look at your dimensions in the bottom right hand um, corner there you should have 100mm width by 40mm in height. Okay and when you close that you've got a 2D shape in there. To extrude it, grab your push pull tool and pull it out 12 millimeters and press enter. Okay, so that's one side done. I'm just going to grab my white arrow and triple click on that, make it a component. I'm going to choose, I'll give it the name draw short wall one. Okay, we need our short wall 2 in now, so a few ways to do it, I'm just going to go back to my views Oops, keep pressing the wrong buttons here and choose the top down view I'm um, grab my move tool now, so that little bunch of arrows and I'm going to grab the top right hand corner here while holding control so I bring a duplicate across and bang, just sits on that other opposite corner so now we've got the basic setup of our little wooden box done. Okay, the next thing we need to do is just put a draw front on here. 
which is basically a big uh, piece of cardboard, ah, cardboard, sorry, timber, and a little handle. All right, so I'm going to go to the front view of my design now by choosing this house here down the bottom in the middle. That's the front view, looking at it front on. And I'm going to use a pencil here to draw some construction lines. Now, construction lines are lines that won't actually appear in the final design. They're just here to um, give us a bit of a guide when we're drawing stuff on the page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is look for the midpoint. As I run my mouse along there, there it is. Let's bring it down. And then I'll find at the midpoint again on the side. Excuse me. There we go, got the midpoint, and I'll just drag it across. Okay, so we've now got the center point just here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle coming out of that center point. So go and grab your rectangle tool. Now if you were to draw a rectangle just as it is, you'd click on that middle there and drag it out. It's not actually coming out of the center. What I want you to do is hold control when you do this and click once. And still holding control, drag out. Let go of control now. Then you'll see that your rectangle is now coming out of the center of that intersection. Okay. The size we want this is 220 comma 90. So 220 mil width by 90 mil height and press enter. And that is our draw front sitting on top of our draw now. Next thing I want you to do is just grab your select tool, the white arrow and delete any excess lines from the front of your draw that you don't need. Okay, so it's basically just those two lots of lines we drew in. Doesn't matter too much about these because we're going to cover them up in just a moment. That'll do for now. And we're going to grab our push pull tool next. There it is there. And we're going to push pull this front shape out to the left a distance of three millimeters. Okay, so you can just drag it out or type in three and press enter. And that's the front of our draw looking good. We just need to put a handle in the middle now. So I'm going to go back to my views and choose the front view. So I can see this front on. Grab my pencil and I'm going to work out where the center is exactly. So one there, one there for the lines and you can see that midpoint there now is the center. What we need to do there is draw another rectangle coming out of that center. So hold control, click once and drag out. Let go of control, and you've got your little rectangle forming out of the center there. So it needs to be 50, 20. So 50 mil width, 20 mil in height, press enter. There's our little handle for the draw. Click on all these excess lines that we don't need and delete them. A little bit time consuming, I know, nearly there. There we go. Now, the last thing you want to do with this is just extrude this handle a little bit. So grab your push-pull tool, pull it out towards you, a total of 12 millimeters. Press enter. And that has our drawer all modeled up in 3D now using SketchUp. Last thing I might get you to do is just color it in. So over here on the left-hand side, you've got this paint bucket tool. Let's choose the first option. You should see your materials pop up here on the right. You can choose one of those default ones or go for a bit of a search, have a bit of a browse through the different colours. I'm going to go with the wood. Okay, and I'll just choose something similar to what we've got in class. And you can just go through and start colouring that in. If you want to change the wood up a little bit, by all means go for it. So you might just choose a darker wood for the little handle here. we go. Oops, we to get that on the side. Um, just realise this isn't fully coloured. So just be careful that everything is fully coloured before you go on to the next step. But that's how we create. Oops, sorry. Speak of the devil, I haven't finished colouring in. Yeah, now I have. So it is pretty straightforward what we've just done there. You've got your draw all made up. What we'll do in the next video is create the carcass for that draw to sit inside of. See you in the next one.